Welcome to the next part of CKA New Changes series. In this video, we will cover some questions related with Helm chart, Secrets and Config Map and CNA. Without delay, let's go to the questions. The next question is, install and configure a container network interface of your choice. Ensure that the selected CNA is correctly set up and fully operational within the Kubernetes cluster. The links are given below. So we have a choice here to install either Flannel or Carico. Okay, let's move to the cluster. First check the ports under the cube system namespace. Here we can see no ports are running related with CNA. So we can try to install Flannel CNA. Okay, so let's copy and paste it to here. Okay, ports are deployed under the cube final namespace. But we can see the ports are in a initializing status. Let's wait for a few moments. Okay, ports are not healthy. So let's take the logs first. This error means your cluster was initialized with a port network CDR that does not match Flannel's default network and Flannel refused to assign a subnet outside its configured range. The solution is we need to find the config map of Flannel and edit it. So let's find the config map. Let's edit it. Okay, replace with one ninety two one sixty eight zero dot zero. Okay, perfect. Okay, next we need to recreate the ports. So let's delete it. Yes, now our ports are up and running. Okay, let's move to the next question. The next question is, create a Kubernetes secrets named web UI secret with a key passed WD and this value. Then create a config map named web UI CM using the file located at slash root index.html. A deployment named web UI already exists in the default namespace. Your tasks are Inject the passwd value from the secret web UI secret as an environment variable into the containers of the deployment. Mount the index.html file from the config map web UI CM into the path slash messages inside the container. Ensure the ports under the web UI deployments are running successfully. This type of questions you can find in the exam also. 
So let's move to the cluster. Okay, let's create the secret first. We can take the help. Here we can see a sample. Let's copy it. This secret name should be Web UI secret. Make sure to copy it directly from the question during the exam to avoid any typos. Key and value also copy from the question. Perfect. The secret has been created. Next, we need to create the config map. We can see the index file under the root directory. We can take the help. Okay, name should be Web UE CF. Okay, now we are created config map and the secret. Next, we need to find the existing deployment. Okay, deployment is not healthy. Let's check the ports. Ports are not running. Let's check the logs. Okay, we can see the ports are expecting secret as well as config map. So let's inject both. First, we can inject secret using commands. Here we are going to inject secret as environment variable using kubectl set env command. Perfect. Now the secret is added into the deployment. Now one issue is solved. Next we need to add the config map as a boolean mount. So let's edit the deployment and add as volume. Here we can see our secret. One more thing, in order to recreate this scenario in your end, you can use this image. It is a publicly available image. Okay. Next, we need to mount the config map. Mount path should be slash messages.
name we can give anything in the question it is not mentioned volume should be from config map and the config map name should be web ui cm Everything perfect. Let's save and exit. Now the ports are running. Okay, let's get into the ports for verifying. Secret is there. Index file is also there. Okay, we have successfully completed the task. Let's move to the next. The next question is related with Helm chart. The question is add the following Helm repository with the name nginx repo. This is the repository URL. Kubernetes way github.io slash my helm repo. Install the helm chart from the nginx repo repository with release name example app. Version should be 0.1.0. After successful installation, upgrade the example app release to version 2.0. Okay. Okay, let's go to the cluster. Okay, let's check the repo list. There is no repos are added. Let's add the given repo with the name nginx repo. Yes, now the repo is added. Next, check the repo. Here we can see the version 0.2.0. In the question, they are asking to install version 1.0. By default, Helm will give the latest version only. So, in order to see the all versions, we need to use version command. Now we can see all available versions. Next, we need to install the Helm app with the name example app. Version should be 1.0. Yes, our example app is deployed. Let's verify. Yes, everything is perfect. Next, we need to upgrade our example app to version 2.0. In order to upgrade the Helm, we can use Helm upgrade command.
version should be 2.0 yes new version has been deployed Yes, we have successfully completed this task. Now I will show you a few more examples. For instance, if you are asking to modify the default values of a deployment, then what should you do? To demonstrate this, let's delete everything and start fresh. I'll show you how to customize the Helm chart by setting the replica count to 3 instead of 1 and by adding resource resources and limits. Now everything has been cleared. Okay, let's start. In order to show the default values, we need to use helm show command. Here I'm going to write the values in the YAML file. Let's change the replicas to 3 and uncomment the resources. Now I have modified the default values. Next we need to pass the new values file along with the helm install command. Okay, application is deployed. Let's check the ports. Now we can see three ports are running. Let's check the resources. Yes, resources request and limits are there. Yes, successfully we are customized the default values of the Helm chart. Okay, this is the end of this video. We will cover few more scenarios in the upcoming part. Thank you.